Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. Welcome on, you know, Man, hey, man, listen, man, we down here in H-Town, man, getting down, man. You know, uh, these guys right here, man, uh, once I started looking and learning, I couldn't find out the sound is going down with these guys right here, man. You can't come down here and not talk to these guys, man. Yes, sir, sir. Yeah, G-Luck could be done. What's going yes, on? What's going G-M-B, down, production. G-M-B, yes, production. G-M-B Productions. G-M-B Productions. G-M-B Productions, man. Yes, sir. Man, man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. H-Town, man. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Man, you know, y'all, you know, I'm going to be real with you, man. It's kind of intimidating dealing with y'all. Y'all done put the sound down, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of intimidating. Like, man, we're so years and going. That's a long time, man. Some time. We've been going some time. Man, and, and how do you say 23 years? Yeah, how do you keep it going though? You gotta um, love what you do. Love what you do. Um, how did y'all even get together? We went to high school together. We're from the same neighborhood and we met in high school. We met in high school. And is this what y'all always wanted to do when you were in high school? We started yeah. off rapping. Yeah. We met each other rapping. He had a record label in school. Yeah. I was borderline rapping. And we met, and it was like, you rap? All right, let's rap together. Yeah. And, like, and then you graduated, so how? No, before I even graduated, this was yeah, like 10th grade. grade. No, no, yeah, 10th grade. So you graduated into producing. Oh, yeah, yeah. when we graduated, so we were already producing. We already had a full-fledged yeah. studio by the time we graduated. So what yeah. motivated you to switch from, because you know some rappers would be like, I don't want to deal with that part of it, I just want to rap. So uh, what motivated you all I, to I feel like, I feel like, well, I'm going to say personally, but I feel like I speak for him too. The way rappers feel like that, I don't want to deal with that. I just want to rap. I think we both kind of like, I don't want to deal with that. I want to do the other stuff. Cause I mean, when I look, I, I looked at it like one day, we look up and we call ourselves rappers and we look up a year later and we got two songs. Yeah. You oh, know, really? Rappers. That right there. We got yeah. two songs, you know, rappers. But we and talk we like to all the rappers and, and we network with the rappers and we were more in love with, like I used to want to be a DJ, little stuff like that, being the behind the scenes, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Did it, did it Producing came time. from because yes. when we were rapping, we didn't know we didn't know where to get oh, beats from. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so how old were y'all when you start? You say you graduated high school, and that's when you started doing the producing. No, no, we were producing before. Before we yeah. you did that. By the time when we met, when we were rapping in tenth grade, let's just say, probably about a few months later, we realized like we ain't, we're gonna stick on these beats. Yeah. So when did you switch from this? Okay, I don't want to rap no more. And why? I think okay. we did like one song. Yeah, we did a song, like, yeah. but we liked making the beats better. We had to make our own beat for that song. So we fell in love with making the beats. Yeah. Like, what about on, it? We don't need to rap. Let's keep making these beats. What about to, it that you fell in love with? Just The creating process, just to see what you can create from nothing. Mm-hmm. It, it literally started with nothing. And it was like, all right, we need to make a beat so we can rap to it. And we made a beat. And you know what? In, in, in the time and the era where we started making beats, there wasn't as many as producers as there is. Now. Okay. So, like, yeah. right now, you could run into any 16-year-old kid. Half the time when people say, I'm going to bring my producer in today at the studio. He's 17. He's 18 with a laptop. We had NPCs no and Tritons and right. stuff like that where you didn't have money to get that. Mm-hmm. So, there was no producer. Oh, my little cousin make beats. It was, no, nah, you can only get a beat from Timberland at the time or something. Who was the something. first okay. person you charged for a beat? Um, you know what? To no, be so honest... Charge? Nah, I'm gonna go before that. It was a gospel. We did a gospel album oh, in high school yeah. with a guy named <laughs> you're Romeo. Not the, you're not the Adams uh, people. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it was a guy in high school named Romeo at the time, and he was trying. He had an investor, and he was like, "Well, I'm gonna pay him, pay y'all to make his beats and yada yada yada." And that was our first like chick. Like mm-hmm. hard, hard. Like, while we at in school, like our friends working at Subway making three hundred three hundred dollars every two weeks. And here we is charging five hundred a track or something like that. You know, my mom yeah. my mom was trying to do her managing thing with us. So we were getting some kind of money out of it. And I think that made us kind of say, okay, well, we can make some money. We could just do this. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, yeah. so when I see producers, I usually see one person and they mm-hmm. do the whole thing. Mm-hmm. With y'all working together producing, what do I get more with Y'all compared to me just hiring more beats, more beats. Now you got more ideas, more ideas, more more beats, chemistry. 
everything. Like we were both. We both bring something yeah, different to be sure. Like, so both of y'all working might, on work on yeah. the same beat. Sometimes we can. Sometimes. Sometimes it's just it not, just depends. Like yeah. it just depends on what type of track it is. I, he's more of a drum type of guy. Yeah. Like you need some hard hitting drums. I come in and I might play a melody or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then they'll go the other way around. Yeah. Sometimes it, it never it's never. Hey, that's not your job. It never mm-hmm. at that point. You know what I'm saying? If you, I mean, that's why y'all stayed together this yeah. long. Yeah. And oh, yeah. the ball go in the air and you catch it. Nigga, run. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, run. like it, ain't, yeah. it ain't no, hey, you're not the running back. Like, nah, I ain't never right. done this. Who we makes more money as in, like, rappers or producers? Depends. It, it's times have changed. I'm Depends say, on the person. I'm going to say producers. I am, too. Yeah. I'm going to say producers. <laughs> I'm going to say that, too, because it, it's, 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 it's expensive being a rapper. Yeah. Like, they have, they, they have this thing where... They have to get out there and image. The image, image. They, they, they don't have to. They don't have to. Behind the scenes, we blackface. You don't even know who we are. They don't have to. You got to talk us into doing stuff like this. Right. That's right. That's Rappers exactly. Rappers are dying right. to come to do this. Count on one hand how many times we done. We done. Get yeah, back on, in that more interviews. Like, <laughs> that's nah, why. they get on us all the time because we don't have like a publicist or a manager. So they get us on us all the time. Like for this many years, y'all did this and y'all did. This. We just really started doing. Podcast, Podcast. And interviews and stuff like that. Cause it's not even that. We're like <laughs> I think it's more of this. There you go. Yeah, we got a session today. So we can't do it. Well we gotta work today. We can't do it. This is the new world order. Yeah. You don't even sound right like what? <laughs> <laughs> this is the new world order. Uh-huh. This is what's going on now. You guys are dope and you guys are definitely great. But at some point, we got to get a clue, man, that the people that's coming up in this era needs to hear from you. I'm just right. being real. If they don't hear from you, then they hear a lot of, you know what they hear. Right, right. Think about it. Sure. We don't have no guidance out here for a lot of our youngsters, man. Wow, sure. And they on that internet, they trying to figure it out, man. They not trying to figure it out through what they they see more so than what they look at on that internet a lot of times. Right, right, right. So right. we need y'all. So when we I say it's them. a new world order, we coach what it you is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We so, do it right, right now. We we do it on a platform with cameras. That's hard. But we do that every day anyway. Yeah, yeah. Talking to rappers. Nah, bro, don't do that. In the yeah. studio, we're they used to call us rap boot camp. Like we don't come over here and you showing bling your money and think we we talk to them. Hey, bro, you really shouldn't do that. I you should get do it. this. I know exactly you what you're saying. Do this. And then we're a little older than some of you, right? But you gotta understand what I'm saying is you're talking about on the level of you guys dealing with them hand, you know, hand to hand. Right, right. But I'm talking about the way this thing is happening so fast and people seeing you all over the world, mm. you can help people that might not make it to a studio. Right. Oh, right. These so guys, right. these facts. kids need you, man. Facts, right. facts, facts, facts. You see what I'm saying? They ain't watching. Podcasts, right, 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 exactly. Right, right. They you, seeing all this yeah. other stuff developing around them, and it's like when I did this, that was my mindset. It's like, it's so much bad stuff out there. I need to do something to give them something to level this off. Right, right. Am I right? Right, no, right. you're right. Absolutely right. Because Absolutely right. the studio, I'm not worried about it because I know you're going to yeah. do what's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your integrity level because you wouldn't have a business a lot of time if right. you wasn't doing it the right way. Exactly. Last I'm being real yeah. and last this long. Yeah. So I'm good with that part, but the part I'm not good with is when that kid's sitting at the house and he like my kids and he isolated in that room. Mm-hmm. And he ain't talking to nobody. Right. Mm-hmm. All he doing is this. Right. right. And he focused. Right. And when you talk to him, he won't even clean up or take out the trash. And you have to get off that phone, boy. Yeah. boy. yeah. <laughs> and he may be, he get to see something like this for a change. That's right. all I'm saying. Right. Because right. right. like I said, you guys got kids. Yeah, no, I have a son. I have yeah, a one year old. That boy play up, play up from the Himalayas. Nah, oh, <laughs> damn, nah. that boy gonna be a bachelor to a nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. He got like one, one, one couch like, with a pool table on the left side. I know the, I know the bad. I used to be a bachelor. I'm gonna be happy as I am. Like. <laughs> but now nah, we both laid bloomers. Like yeah, he just uh, you just got married. Yeah, he just no, he had my first one. Oh, you just had the baby. Oh man, beautiful. Had my first one. Man, that's hard. How many more you want? A lot. It don't even matter. I, can't I like you. kids. You yeah. starting late though. Yeah. Why? We've been traveling all these years. Yeah. I haven't oh, been yeah. sitting down somewhere planet. Right. Now I am. Now you are. Yeah. Now, now they're gonna come back to back to back to back. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna be back to back, but I do want a lot of kids. Probably yeah. five. Five. Yeah. Well, that ain't hard. a lot. That's a hard number. I got four. I thought yeah, he I'm was done. You done. I thought he was gonna I say football team. I come from a big team. family. I got well, it's nine brothers and sisters. I got nine. Yeah. Of them. That's what I thought you was gonna yeah. say. Like nine or ten or twelve. Nah, five is cool. I'd be cool with five. Okay. Yeah. Three boys, two girls. 
What have you? What do you, you know? Um, when when you think about y'all, what what do you guys think that y'all done to bridge the gap? I talked to I talked to EG, he's like I told Slim to come over here from the north side and come <laughs> over here to screw, and that's how we end up linking with him. I mean, and then you hear uh, uh, what's the boy we just uh, interviewed Rizzo Rizzo. Mm -hmm. Rizzo. It's hot. Man, Rizzo it's hot. Rizzo. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, Sauce came and he got me, but I'm from over here. But I came over there, yeah. and that's how we linked it up. And I think that helped a lot. What do you guys? Being from the south side, how do you guys bridge those gaps? Bridging the old, the young with the old, a lot of times. Okay, okay. Like you say, Rizzo, the South Factory. Um, We've been working with them yeah. from day one. Wow. When they didn't want to work with them, anybody even knew who they was. Yeah. When they, that first song with um, we made Walk yeah. and Slim Thug. Uh, yeah. When they did to everybody, that was they didn't really want to work with an older guy. And, okay. You know, Slim is kind of like he gonna work with anybody. Yeah. And um, we bridged that gap. That's We've old. done that. A couple of times in the game, a couple with younger, yeah, younger guys and an older guy getting them on the song with, you know, what I'm saying with older guys doing stuff like that, I, for sure. Bless you, bless you. Yeah, yeah, bless you, bless you. Um, <laughs> yeah, you funny. <laughs> yeah, you funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging your personality. Like, you funny, bro. You funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brother, bless you. Yeah, you know, yeah. cameras on, bro. <laughs> No man, but no, like you guys, man. When you think about the Houston sound, man, you you know we interviewed B King, man, and he got this, King. this yeah, he got B King career too, yeah. correct? But he got this sound over here, right? To me, mm -hmm. like the music, he the new Luke uh, Houston. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm serious, he yeah, different. Sure. Yeah, and then uh, you got uh, you know that old sound, you know that basically when when I, when I hear Kiki rock, I know yeah. what I'm gonna get. You know Classic what I'm saying? H town sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so so like. For you guys to be able to switch, right? You just said you you did you done some work with B King, right? We done work with B King. Okay, yeah. now you done some and work with, with Kiki. Yeah. You done well, everybody. Yep, yeah, everybody. Yeah. We come. I, we came in at the tail end of the old generation, mm -hmm. and we're in the new generation. Chose to. Chose. We got. Yeah, we work with Chose. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so we, we got Okay, but here. transparency becomes a thing. Like, yeah, how yeah. are you guys so you know? Because we've been around for so long, a people know to, to kind of reach out. Or yeah. we reach out. Yeah. We yeah. don't wait for somebody to call us. We're going to reach out to them. Hey, we see you working. What you got going on? Pull up. Make this move. Yeah. They're not well, stuff we no. do is not on camera. So yeah, it, sure. it's, it's, it's not posted. We post, but we don't post as much. So of course. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that happens in the city that our name doesn't go on. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not sitting there like, yeah, we don't, you know, I done that there. We don't, we don't be no, on no, that. No, no, like, no, no. We just be, it be genuine it, stuff. Though. Yeah. Shit. But it be genuine stuff. It be like a genuine, yeah, I'm on the phone with this guy and this guy is standing next to me. Hey, yeah. pull up, uh, 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 they make a connection. Now they got something magical and you don't even know we had something to do with it. Wow. That I like happens it. a lot. I happens like happens it. A lot. We don't put our name on a lot yeah. of stuff that happens out here. Yeah, I mean, sure. but, but. But the artists know. Yeah, they are the but artists. That's building. Any artists you'll interview, uh, some kind of way they'll bring us up. I guarantee yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. building relationships and building relationships. You really can't just show. That's better than money, relationships. Right, money. like that. For sure. Yep. Yeah, you can make so. a lot of money with relationships. You can go broke and come back and be a millionaire again off of relationships. Mm -hmm. so, Working with yeah. Boosie. Boosie. After he had, while he was dealing with his chemo or after he came off his chemo mm -hmm. uh, that had to be tough and how did you got or did, could you even tell because yeah. I just seen that you know uh, I read that and I was like I mean, he was in a wheelchair so yeah we could tell you could tell yeah, he, they he, told us though we knew why he was in Houston he was in Houston because we have the best medical center um, okay cancer, cancer center, center. Um, in the world so oh, really? when he got cancer um, his biggest thing which kind of messed you up in the world a little bit when they told him hey we it's gonna be six months we booked up. We, we booked up. up. It's gonna be six months. He said, "How much?" They said ninety thousand. He said, "I bring it to you tomorrow." Dang. We'll cut on you Tuesday. <laughs> you know Damn. So he's money. So that, he that, like, that's yeah. messed so up. So he stayed yeah. in Houston. Imagine all the people that passed away because they didn't have the yeah. physical cash right. to get the treatment. Right. Said, I don't think I'm gonna make it that long. Because some people like, like, I can't wait. Yeah, he was like, I can't wait six months, bro. I got yeah. the money. What you need? What you own? And I'm fresh out of jail. I got money on me. I need to go. I need to be able to move around. I can't be sick. Because my life worth more than this. For I can sure. turn around and make that money back. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. And then you guys start working with him at that he, point. He, um, from day one. The he was looking day for he got in Houston. He went to a studio, I think, the first day. I don't know what studio it is, so I don't want to bad talking about his studio. But the first studio he went to, I mean, you come here to get a chemo and, you know, get your cancer situation going. 
and people are taking pictures of you. It's one of the studios people can pull up at. Our studio is our, everybody knows us, even our, our closest friends. So you don't pull up private. our studio without calling. Call. It's private. You gotta, you, you gotta know. call somebody when you pull up. So when he figured that out, he called uh, Slim, and Slim called us that morning, like eight o'clock in the morning. Hey, Boosie, looking for the studio. We end up got getting dressed, rushing to the studio like nine at nine a.m. You know, rappers. I don't hear from rappers till one, two o'clock mm -hmm. p.m. And that's the early ones. And um, he pulled up with his crew, and. In a wheelchair, and they rolled him in there. And I think that first session, they rolled him straight to the booth, and he sat in the booth all day, and behind the microphone and just rap. And I think then it kind of that led to like what two months, two three, three months. months, yeah, two three months. Every the very day. next day, that's how we locked in. The first mm -hmm. day we locked in with him when he came to the studio, he don't know us from a can of yeah, paint. He got yeah, he got to see refused us, re referred him to the studio. He just thought, oh y'all just Shout in there, they work in the studio, record me. Mm -hmm. The next day he came back. And they rolled him in the booth. Before they rolled him in the booth, he was trying to get the beats together. His team didn't have his beats ready. So he went off on the whole room, like on everybody, like, how y'all ain't gonna have my beats ready? I'm at the studio, Ooh, man, I can't get no beats for who. And we sitting there like, we got beats. Uh -huh. And played one beat and it, went, it was a rap. They did 17 songs with it? 17, 18 songs? From that songs. one beat, we did, our, yeah. we did 17 more songs. He was yeah. like, play another one, play another yeah. one, play another one. He rapped to all of them, made the whole album. Yeah. Man, that's and he's crazy. looking at us like, yeah. man, ain't nobody rapping on y'all shit, man. Who y'all niggas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He used to be like, he used to be like this. Where the other one at? If one not there, where the other one at? Man, he you couldn't tell us yeah, apart at one time. He both of us, we, we both G and B. Hey, G and B, G and B. It went from where the other one to G and B. So he'll call me G and B. He'll call him G and B. Yeah, and then now, now, now we, we, yeah, now you know, yeah, we go to Atlanta State his house and everything. That's good. That's hard, man. That's hard, man. And and what how? How important is relationships and what Very you guys important. do, right? That's everything. Very we got to speak on that a little everything. bit so yeah, people relationships to help like our this. youngsters to know because a lot of them think is, you know, I know people who basically have, they meet somebody, I know these guys have done whole projects with major producers and then after me and them come together, they can't even make a phone call to them. Mm. Nah, nah, they ain't got no person. No, because they so never, I'm telling you, yeah. I've seen this happen. So I ain't gonna speak on that. People be too cool to talk to people, man. That's what it is. Nah, or trying man. to stay so professional. We that don't have to management. Let's try to right. stay so, so yeah, professional. We don't have management. management. We don't have PR. We're we don't have none of that. So if we don't say nothing to nobody, we're not going to get to see this person again. Yeah. I'm going to say something right here, yeah. right then and there. Mm -hmm. So that's how we build it. And a lot of times that make the person look at you like, damn, you kind of bold. Yeah, take mm -hmm. my number out. Man, shit, I'm gonna use it. That's hard. But yeah. you know what, too? I noticed we have, we have a lot of relationships with people that we haven't even worked with. So okay. when you'll see us work, you don't even realize this is a relationship that's been going on for three years. Mm -hmm. That we would come by, come by the studio, and we've never made a song. And wow. then now we're making songs, and you think, oh, yeah, y'all met now. Nah, we've been rocking with them two years already. Just wow. every time they come to the city, they come fool with us. Wow, that's You know cool. what I'm saying? We'll have those kind of relationships also. So, you know. Outside of yourselves, who, who, who do you think, and then this goes to both of y'all, because y'all are both not going to have the same answer. Mm. Hardest producer ever. Mm. Ever? Mm. They might not have the same. That's what I said. They're not gonna have the same answer. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, I just want to hear the. I want to hear what they say. You start with B. Um, that's, that's impossible to answer. Yeah. But I have to break it down. Like how yeah. hard to produce an error. And I have to break it down. Like in our world. Yeah. Um, you say in our in our world. What you mean? Matter of fact, top world. three. Let's do the top three because we do ever, it ever. ever. Right. Top so three of all like time, okay. dead or alive. I think we can Any agree on one. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. I want to hear separate from yours. Okay. Okay. I would say. Drummer boy, mm -hmm. you like drummer boy? Let me tell you what. Let me tell you That's why. Your number one. Let me tell you why. It's not number one because I can't put them in order. But let me tell you why. Drummer boy is one of the greatest because we are we friends with drummer boy too. By the mm -hmm. way, wow. Let, so, let me just say that drummer boy was one night when me and you was in Vegas, and I shut it down. I had on all white and my guys with me. wasn't all white party, <laughs> nigga. And you came to me and asked me, "Hey man, let's take this picture, nigga. You remember that?" Because the old man has still got it, nigga. One, two, yeah, 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 yeah. And the picture on the wall at the store, nigga, I got proof. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. There. Still yeah we there. kicked it. All right, so boom, drummer boy, I'm gonna say this because from in our era, we're the same exact age. We come up at the same time. He hard man. man. He was he came in up. He be, yeah. like he tore up everything. He had an era, didn't he? He was. Yeah, he had a run. He had a run. He had a run. And you couldn't escape him. Yeah. So, and that made him. he made a, he single handedly made us step our game up. Yeah. yeah. So. In producing. 
He was like, oh, no. Nah. Because he doing what we trying to do. Yeah. Like, we were, we were trying to be those guys that, I mean, that guy that he was, like, working with everybody. Yeah. We were trying to do that already. That's whole. But we had Houston on, like, he just had the whole world because yeah. he was in Atlanta. That's we were in Houston. And the whole world was going to Atlanta at the time. Right. Wow. So, yeah, he was here. He we thinking away. that the eyes were coming to Houston because of the steel tipping and all that. So, yeah. we coming in Houston and we're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He went to Atlanta and that's where the whole game went. Damn. Right. So, uh, that's good stuff. But Thanks. Drummer Boy, Dr. Yeah. Dre. That third one gonna be hard, man. Cause, Dr. Uh, Dre, Dr. Dre, nigga. for sure. He gonna always be my What's the hardest forever. song you ever produced? Hardest song he ever produced? Let me see if this nigga uh, gonna get it right. You know? <laughs> nigga, I got mine, nigga. Right. Right. Let me see if this nigga gonna get it right. I'm gonna say, to me, hardest song. Let's see if this nigga gonna get it right. right. Hell no, nah, man. Off the chronic. Hell no. Nah. Hell that's yeah. That's, yeah. that's what he say. Hell yeah. yeah on that's, that's, my, oh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite <laughs> no. album ever. No, I'm going to say that that uh, uh, in the club by 50 Cent, I oh, love nah. that beat. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even make that, though. He didn't? No. Nope. Who made had, that? We always nephew. heard nephew made it. Dr. That Drake nigga put his bad. On it. That nigga bad. Whoever that is. I'm talking Dre before he had programming. Let that's what Timberland. Ride. I mean, yeah. you had Timberland, you had Nephew, you and had Mailman, you had uh, Danger Hands, all these guys. Oh, you had Scott Storch. All these guys were Dr. Dre at one point in time. He yeah. signed them and they made the beats. He put his stamp on it. Yeah. But the song I'm talking about, Let Me Ride, ride. Dr. Dre made that. Yeah, but at the Chronic, you go back to the Chronic album, man. I'm not, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm riding with Let Me Ride. That's a bunch of bangers on that <laughs> yeah, song. That, that, Am I right? What you think? That song is I'm finna get it started. It Wait a minute. So no, I don't know about that. You can put that song on right now and it sound like Jeez, you guys made that man today. What you think? Let's be honest. Oh, let's see. oh you talking about Let Me Ride? No, just that album, that Chronic album. You, you. That Chronic album. All right. Let Me Ride was the hardest one. To me. On the crime. Sonically, sound, you gotta listen to it, man. It's mixed perfect. It sounds good. And it still sounds like it was mixed and mastered yesterday. I can't put it up against nothing. What do you say? What do you say is your favorite? I'm trying song to think, man, because that nigga and that's had, a remake. He remade that beat to where you thought he used the the, the uh I forgot who sample it was, but you thought it was their song still. <laughs> He remade that so that perfect. That nigga was bad, man, on that album. That whole album was banging, man. I had album. that I had oh, that right. whole in the car banging. I'm going to play that when we leave here, man. It was a, it was a oh, dude he had on there, man. It was a, man. Damn, I'm trying to think. I know the song. It's in my head. But I can't, I think, it was a, it was, it was a, it was a nigga. Dang, high power. Man, this, this dude. High power? That's on there? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that, that dude. That the dude that's, that's talking dude. on there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who it, was that? I don't know, but I'm just you saying. You don't say it, and I'm gonna be like, oh yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking about that beat. That was a good oh, hard beat. The, what? That was a hard beat. So I'm just looking at the beats. I'm trying to, you know, these songs got to come old. You got to yeah, click yeah. back in. They got, you yeah, know, the album had the leaf. I see the leaf, nigga. I see the leaf. Look, when you ask me, I say I'm looking at the leaf. I'm looking at the leaf. You got to go to first the leaf, and then you can ride on through there. You know, Snoop was on there. Then they did Easy on there. Introduction. Did they? Did they did Snoop on there? I mean, Easy on there. I think Easy. No, no was that, on, that was the other one. He's not on the credit. Mr. Buster, where, where you he's at? not on the credit. Was that a different different album altogether? When at they that time, when they, he dissed them on "Let Me Ride," I think you, on that on that album for sure. Was it "Let Me Ride"? No. You remember in the video he had Easy. That's what I was talking about. That was that from the chronic. That was old boy. Uh, the Easy song. Uh, was he passed song. away too. Yeah, uh, he did. Uh, Johnson. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I posted AJ that. AJ Johnson. AJ Johnson. I remember yeah. when he passed away. Uh, but that wasn't only chronic. That wasn't only. It was right after though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. What we, we was right after? That when he dissed Easy on that. Like, he dissed Easy on the chronic. That's what I'm saying. But I'm talking about that song. It wasn't on there. Or was, if it was, that might be the hardest it beat might on, be on Snoop album. You know what I'm <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Is that song on Snoop album or on the Chronic? I just remember the, the video. One holding the sign up. Yeah, he running around. Work, work for food or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Remember all that. I that remember was a hard. That was a hard. Y'all young. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Man, nah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what was what, what, when you come to talking that, especially the West Coast. His dad was staying in L.A. Oh, that's my why. He got, that's why he he my a, musical I wish I, I wish I wish I could find a picture. It's a picture with and him. And he had a curl, did Him and I. He was Mac young. 10's in my he's standing with Mac 10 like this. What? He's a kid. Love your kid. I don't like it. Right? That's yeah, your boy yeah, now. Sure. I'm, I'm on Mac 10 album. Yeah. yeah. Based on a true story from yeah. like 1998. Damn. Yeah. So his daddy yeah. was out there. I, I, when, when I'm, I feel like when The Chronic was out, I was so H-Town at the time because I was here. You were not trying to hear. I did not. I just didn't know. I got on it later. You pop like when you say all right when you say when you say the see the, the leaf to me I think of two thousand I'm thinking of the first one. he thinking of the first and I'm thinking of two thousand because I got on the first one don't get me wrong but when it came out I wasn't on it wasn't on it I wasn't on it well I had to be on it because I was selling chronic at the time you know how how old were you when it came I was out? older it was in the nineties so I would have been by twenty 
two twenty. Right. I was rolling in an eighty nine. So he was still a kid, but he still had his dad on with the him. West Coast taking him to studios and stuff. So That's he hard, man. Yeah, yeah. You I know mean, all them cats. Yeah. So when he came, came Mac 10, he, Ice Cube, I was in the studio with all yeah. of them. As a kid, really? Yeah. My old man worked for Prince, and he worked for Priority Records. So damn, when I was in, and then when I was for the summertime, my mom would send me to L.A. Yeah, damn, you. Out I there see too. how you got in the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you had all to that get musical in. background. He got a musical mm-hmm. background too. Ask him. Yeah. Ask him about oh, the musical no, background. I, I heard this. This one here is a uh, uh, Latoya's yeah. brother. Right. Yeah. So when he was in the studios on the West Coast, I was he was in the studio with Beyonce. Yeah, I was more around. Can you see? Beyond not, not even gonna try. Never try. <laughs> Never not? try. It my whole, it was be. crazy. My whole family was like, you know you can sing. Right. right. You know you can sing. And I was like, I just don't see me. Girl, let me sing. Let me let me let me let me kick something okay. to you. Don't, don't do it, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's how I'm trying. I'm not gonna try. So I'll be in the studio sometime and I give somebody a note and they be like, and I'm like, nah, no. don't even do it. You do it, let's keep going. We're not even gonna get on that. See, you know you got it's it. Not my, nah, so, I don't even nah, try. I when, never when you when you when that first happens, you how old are you when when she first end up uh, with Destiny Child? We was kids. Kid. I was young, young. They was, oh, she older than you? Yeah, she's three years older than me. It's okay. a handful of years. Yeah. So um when she met Beyonce, we were going to a school called St. James in Third Ward, okay. in Houston. And um that's we were kids. So, you know, I might I might have been in the third grade. Damn. Fourth grade, maybe, maybe third grade. So she was probably in the fifth, sixth grade when they met each other. So it wasn't studios then. It was as we went on and they got bigger. I would be in the studio with a lot of these guys. So yeah. No, that's hard, man. So mm-hmm. when you when when you think about that 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 whole uh, being the brother of uh, 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 I didn't know you existed, man. I'm gonna be real with you. That's what he did bro, that on purpose, bro. You was you was incognito. He did that on purpose. He didn't want to be like you were not, right you good good not good trying to be it's seen. Good and bad. Bad. It's good and bad. You were not right trying now, to be seen. We can that, right now. If he would have been wearing it on his shoulder. 15 years ago, yeah. we probably would have been bigger than where we exactly. are. Exactly. Ray J embraced Brandy as he got older. That's like, right. I should have been doing that from day one. That's right. But he didn't want to come up under a shadow, so I feel, bro. But mm-hmm. on the backside of things, we get older, you should have. Yeah. Possibly for sure. coattail sis a little longer. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but you still you found your own. Nah, for yeah. sure. Because it's not like they're doing the same thing. No, nah, right. you see what I mean? Right. If, if it was a case where he was singing to and yeah. whatever, yeah. but I think it's different when you're a. Uh, Male and female. If she, if it was if you were a girl now, it, it would have felt more pressuring. Right, right. It never it never felt like pressure to me. That phase right no, there no. for you though. What you mean? Like for you being you know that phase of life, going to the studio. Did you really know that this was what you would be doing? Not at all. Not you were just doing it because the family I was to play doing football. it. I want. I want. Was you good? I, with that thing with me. I was. I was cool. I feel like we. Ne- I never really got to crack it out open because it was like my. You got to realize I have a, my parents wanted us to do that. Though. Yeah, yeah. So anytime I'm talking sports, it's like yeah, but uh, you ain't picked up a guitar, and it's like I don't want to play the guitar. Man. I don't want to play the piano. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was that kind of life. For me, so I, I never really, I never sat in the studio and was learning because I didn't care as much. I know I like music, but everybody like music. Your parents into music too? Oh, um, my dad sings. Okay. My dad will, but my dad has sang. You laugh? What you laugh? What you laugh? 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 My nigga, man, my, dad is that, all right, my dad sings the national anthem for like the Astros, the Rockets, the Texans. To this day, he I don't know the numbers. Yeah, I don't know the numbers. In about a, a year or two. Yeah, huh? right. Yeah, but I don't know the numbers. But he can give you the numbers. I'm a uh, I'm seven and I'm seven and old with the Astros. I'm just like so. Whenever he sings, they win. Is what he feel like. So, oh, okay. um, my dad sings. My mom is more of a business lady, a hundred percent. So, like even when my sister was getting out the group, that was my mom looking over the contracts, doing it. She mm-hmm. mom's real good and stuff like that. Um, she's still even active with my sister when it comes to business and stuff. So, um, so it's just two of y'all. The just season? us two. Okay. You know, when y'all was asking about the kids, when y'all say five and stuff, it's like me. I'm like. <laughs> Give me the two, and I think we. That's cool. right. Yeah. What? But but producing uh, that that album and going platinum with mm-hmm. your sister, that's hard. Yeah. yeah. We yeah we got we were on her Hell first. Yeah. How old was you at that time? That was in fresh 05. Out of We were fresh out of high school. Oh five. So like twenty. Yeah. Nineteen twenty. How 19, did that make 20. you feel? You was ecstatic, or you didn't even know what was we going on? We didn't really know. I mean, you know what the hell was going on. We didn't know. Right, how did that make us feel to get a platinum plaque? We yeah. felt we was on top of the world. Okay, yeah. y'all did. Yeah. Y'all were. Yeah. Y'all did know y'all done it. We, f- I mean, we, we felt, felt like that. <laughs> we felt <laughs> when you get a platinum plaque, you feel like we that. Feel like we're here. We also realize we yeah. understand where we at and what we where yeah. we are in this music shit. So at that time, we knew we weren't. Yeah. Even yeah. though we got this platinum plaque, we know we ain't shit. Drummer boy was right here. 
<laughs> we sitting there like, yeah, we got a pack them packs and shit. We got Drum real life. With Gucci and Joe got it. Whoop that. He in Atlanta, man. You can't steal it like that. Man, See, we, we had real yeah. life checking, though. We had real life checking because dealing with my sister, we would go to LA and she would sit us in the studio with nephew. Sit us in the studio with Scott Storch. It just to be flies on the wall, JR, stuff, people like that at the time that was popping. And we knew. That ain't what we trying to do. We probably need to go back to Houston and figure it out. Because yeah. they were, oh, well, I'll just make you this kind of beat on the spot. They could play the piano, do all this. We, weren't, we couldn't do none of that. You know, this yeah, was before was the Fruity Loops. You know, right now, you go in the studio with a guy who started making beats. Hey, man, I want to make beats. Oh, oh yeah, that's what's up. And then you see him. I've never made a beat before. Cool. You see him six months later, he has Chris Brown's new single. Because mm-hmm. he's working on a laptop and stuff. It wasn't like that when we was coming up. You, yeah. you had it wasn't no arpeggiators and loops and stuff like you that. You had to play this. You shit. had to figure it out. You know. So yeah. sure. I think that intimidated us a lot to come home and it was discouraging. Yeah, discouraging. Yeah, I'd have yeah. been there trying to learn everything, trying yeah, to figure it, it out. Nah, yeah. it was impossible though because so we it was knew a from the curse to us. We knew sure. the level of what they're doing yeah. is level to that. Yeah. We ain't even at the first level yet, right. so let's go back and just we'll talk come back home. And they felt like we were on that level, but it's like, nah, we went there. It ain't they out to. It's crazy. It's, wow, yeah, it's, they yeah. doing shit that we ain't never yeah. seen before. Like we too inexperienced. I right like now. your cousin talking back home. Man, you should have ran that touchdown. Nah, kid, you ain't been in the pros. Yeah, but wait, it ain't like that. Let me say this first of all. I'm a southerner. I'm a Texas hard head. Mm-hmm. When you think about Pimp C and what UGK done, Rest in peace, Pimp C. Oh, man, mm-hmm. Pimp C. Listen, I had to say that because of his production. I was, man, I was, it was a different level for me. I'll that just be Mike real Dean, with y'all. Mr. Lee, yeah. all them dudes, yeah, 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 all them yeah. dudes. So mm-hmm. there were some people. That was PMC too. He played That's the guitar. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. Yeah. 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 Okay. PMC was ridiculous. PMC was ridiculous. I missed that part. I missed that part. <laughs> people saw him as a rapper. Us, a producer sees PMC as a producer. And I'm, I'm just a fan and see him as yeah. a producer. Don't I always talk yeah. about it. So that's why I say, yeah, I hear you what you say when you was out there or y'all was dealing with that, but we still had some, we had some stuff down here at yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't yeah, have that, yeah. though. It was, yeah. it was a different, man. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't oh, need shit. that. I don't care what you See, say. We, but that's where the know, money at. Remember when the game made it. you feel that's like what you what money needed to do what I get it. What's this over there doing? But I'm loving my southern. You had Scarface and them down here too. It already dead and dove in. Yeah, for, for sure. Stop playing. No, for sure. We had, you know, Joe. We had we had people. Yeah, yeah you but know, I'm up here defensive as hell. R and B world, <laughs> that R and B world different when it comes to R and B producers and hip hop producers. I met a lot of R and B producers. I don't even respect hip hop producers. Yeah, no skill, no skill. Never needed to do that because they bumped the bump, the bump, the bump, the bump. Man, the bass in there. R and B is different. You have to know what you're doing. You got to know what you're doing. So it's harder to do. R&B yeah, producing yeah, for sure. Uh, I, 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 I was saying now that you mastered it. You're talking now that the level that we at. I feel like the level that we at. You're talking to a. Now, now we you talk, talk to a. You, 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 you talk to R&B growing. producers. They'll say what we do is hard though. Because we'll sit in the studio with R and B, I don't say R and B producers, to play. and they'll be playing. Beat. I want to get some beats to this guy, this guy, and when we give them their time to shine at the studio, that ain't sounding like what they want. You think that's what they want, but it ain't grungy enough. And they don't understand how to be grungy, how we can be grungy, mm-hmm. how to make our drums sound like this. Y'all stuff too. You think it's a rap a rap beat, but it's still technically not. Mm-hmm. We get that a lot with R and B producers. So I feel like it's both sides because you could be a technically an R and B producer trying to give out rap records and they not feeling them. ESGG don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like the German don't want to hear that. Yeah, well, so yeah. I don't want to hear that. It's too soft. Yeah. I was like, we've been through that so much, and they'll pick our beats, and we've been in. Um, Pretty much battles, you know. It's it's a battle in the studio. We in the studio with different producers, and they like y'all. So all, everybody get a chance to play beats. That's technically a beat battle. It's just what it is. And um, we've been in the studio with people that we I don't say intimidated by, but like damn, he he play he this he this, and we'll play our beats, and we we pretty much get the record for the night. And that a lot of times that's just experience in the rap game, knowing what these rappers want. And an R and B guy who's been in with Eric Billinger doesn't understand what um, Peasy want. You know what I'm saying? He don't understand what uh, you know a rapper a rapper would want. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 we've been in that game so long, and I think that's what when it comes to my sister and the R&B thing, we never we coattailed for some time, but we knew to get our feet wet. Yeah, get our feet wet. But right, we knew exactly. rap back home is what we're that's really what we, good that's at. That's what we they do. love what we doing over here. So we stayed on that side instead of trying to be on that side. Like we we've been on. 
Don't get me wrong. We was on the road with we can sis do for a long yeah. time. For sure. We was on the road with her for a long time, but we, it got to a point where we say, That's we got to go back home. Yeah, right. we got to go back home. Did you, did, when you came back home, was that when you guys linked in, like, with Slim Thug? and, and No, it was prior to that. Yeah. We linked up with yeah. Slim in high school. Yeah. So, how, I mean, how I was that? I drove Slim and Escalade to prom. Same hey. escalator that's yeah. still tipping. Yeah. 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 But wow. he was talking to my sister at the time. That's when he met yeah, Tony. I remember that. They were a couple. So um, that's how long we've been like. So he went from like big bro to, I mean, I'll tell him this to, to this day. He, he technically our OG too. But I'm with him every day. We with him every day. This every is single our day. brother. Every, so every single day. I play with him so much that I can't sit here in a podcast and say, well, that's really our OG and we learn a wow. lot from bro. <laughs> but you did. Nah, yeah, I'm kind of lame every day. You know what I'm saying? So I can't. You know, so I can't. But I'm, I'm just saying. Him, but no, you know what he means to us, yeah. though. He know what he means to us, yeah. though. He know yeah, for sure. He know what he means to us. He know what he does for us. I always love him. He let us, after we got off the road with Big Sis, he let us come on the road with him. Yeah. That's hard. Come on. That's so we said, learn the game. Anything it we was need, me, G, and Mr. Rogers. Yeah, for sure. Anything DJ we Mr. need. Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Well, yeah, he was part of uh, the boss how Mr. Rogers used to be a producer too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was on the road. It's really a lot too. of producers in Houston that came through that boss hog. Um, through that building, that through that whole, studio. That hard too. It's a lot of people. Young Sam. Um, Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi. As, yeah. T.A. Uh, uh, Mr. Sal Lee. Ma, Mr. Lee. All, all of us came through. That we were just the first in the same building. building. Yeah. Wow. And 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 so dealing with Slim, I didn't mean to cut you, but dealing with Slim, I want to stay on that a little bit. Um, just do voice. We, 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 no nigga was deep. You know what I'm saying? Y'all knew exactly how to beat, make the beat to what yeah. y'all wanted to. Well, we know what he yeah. like. Like y'all knew what he. he, yeah. he it's not fair for us with Slim because we yeah, that's really our like. that's really our bro. So I think when I was talking about putting other producers in the studio and playing beats for Slim. We'll sit there and be kind of laughing like, that nigga don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they don't know that. You yeah, know, but yeah. we with him every day. We know what he wants. So, so y'all hear somebody else doing that, y'all like this. But then that's where, that we know that with Slim, we understand that with other people, other artists, sending beats don't work. You got to be in the studio to get to know somebody and know, yo, y'all think he on that and he ain't on that no more. Imagine when Rick Ross dropped his first album and everybody on his second album was probably sending him runner's beats mm -hmm. when he was on um, Justice League at the time. Wow. I'm on this Justice League way, but y'all haven't heard me on the Justice League because it hasn't came out yet. You know what I'm saying? So we're like that with a lot of artists. Like, we have a personal relationship. Y'all think Sauce want to hear that, and he, he's he been off that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. that's what we realized. With, I, I feel like we learned that with Slim. That's People right. always try to play him beats, and it's like... Y'all don't even realize he don't even want to hear I'm a boss, I be dissing, tipping. And yeah, a lot of people get a song they do like that. that. It be a whole, every time he playing beats, you hear that, and they be like, bro, he don't like rapping on that shit. <laughs> he hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? But we don't know what he Y'all know him. That's why y'all know him. So we know he don't want that, but we realize Did he ever that. pick one that y'all didn't think he would pick? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he does that. And you All like, the time. damn, he mm -hmm. picked that one. And then when he did it, was it hot or was it not? I lost a bit before. <laughs> That's something better. Hey, I want to hit that, and he was like, "Yeah, play that. Run that one again." <laughs> All right, man, run it again. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead, baby. So, okay, so if you if you talking about Houston um, producers compared to like New York producers, LA producers, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. have y'all caught up with the game, with the technology, with everything now? Are all y'all on the same level, or oh, yeah, do yeah, people yeah. think mm -hmm. that okay? New York, California, all of those are, Atlanta is like way ahead than. No, nah. no, nah, nah, they're not ahead. I think at one point in time in the game, it used to be that, that it was like that. And I think that's what we was talking about. Um, it's an equal playing field now. No, when he said, when you when he was saying, nah, we had shit going on that's down right. here. And he was saying, nah, but over there, I think there was a point in time in the game where if you was from here, it wasn't about shit. Yeah. If you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I, I can't say that we didn't get hit with that wave. Like, man, we got to leave. We gotta leave to make it, you know what I'm saying? So we caught we caught that a lot. We caught that wave a lot. Like we gotta leave to make it. And now, nah, now I feel like everything is with Instagram and social media. Everything is on the same level. Like mm -hmm. even when it comes to you know back in the game, you can say, oh yeah, he from New Orleans the way he dressed. He from New York the way he dressed. He run. It don't. It, there is none of that now because of Instagram. You know, everybody, right. dressing, everybody it wears the same, everybody everybody wears wears the the same thing. Sure. You wasn't waking up looking at people from New York dress every day. You wasn't waking up listening. To, you know what I'm saying? So now you can see what they're doing, and that all I feel like all that goes together. Um, well, I, I said something about ESDG and the beats he rap on. You would some people would say he raps on Detroit beats. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And that's just really a style of music, kinda. So 
I feel like that territorial stuff is kind of going away. What's big in 2023 that you guys foresee coming? Y'all can't tell it? Oh, uh, no. Nah, we well, got I mean, a lot of work. Can. We, we got, got a lot, lot of work with Lil Jeremy, for sure. We're working on God 3 right he, now. He out of town right now, ain't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to get him on. coming right back to us. Bob was so wanting to get him this time, but everybody was like, you got to get Lil Jeremy. They like him. I'm going to tell you how you get Lil Jeremy. Get your nap. Okay. You wake up at 3 in the morning. And then call him. <laughs> <laughs> he a night owl. He a night owl. You ain't gonna this nigga Jerry will call you at 4.16 a.m. Big bro. I'm the same Y'all at the lab? Me and him. And he's same. gonna work until 10, 10 in the morning. Yeah. So we've missed a lot of records realizing, you know, we grown, we grown at men right here. Yeah, bro, yeah, it's yeah, time yeah. to shut down. Now, don't get me wrong, we go. We go. We'll stay up all night. It's, that ain't nothing, but we starting at 4. That's hard. This, I mean, we, you know, we used to start at one and just really locking in, staying the seven or whatever we got to. We starting at four. That's me. So we start. So we figured out to work with Jeremy. That's what we got to do. I'm the same way. Stop the same way. Like I get up, I'm up. Hey, mm -hmm. I get up. All right, you say you get up. He takes a nap and then he'll be up at, at one, three, one o'clock all the way be, through. He'll be at one all the way every through. time. He know. <laughs> See, one I three. wake up. I wake up naturally every morning at seven thirty a.m. Not me. No, all right, right. So. Half the time, if you see me at the studio at 3, 4 in the morning, I've been up. I didn't go to sleep. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, we grown men, like I said, he got a child. He got the, you know, he on a schedule at home. So, messing with them rappers that's, you know, taking what they got to take, drink what they got to drink to stay up, whatever. You calling me at 3 a.m.? But we we realized we missed a lot of records like that. Yeah. So be now we realize done, we got to stay done, there. got to go home because he got them honey dudes. I mean, <laughs> I got them honey dudes. <laughs> What's that? that? Shit. Honey do this. Honey do that. Oh, yeah, for no. sure. <laughs> honey do that. <laughs> honey do that. Honey do that. Honey do that. Honey do that. Like, honey do that. 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 Honey <laughs> yeah, why you you think you're gonna do that today? Mm -hmm. right. Sometime another? Yeah. <laughs> right. So di that's the different lifestyle. But I get it, but I still like I love to I love to get up like get up, man. I we, I had them on my team conference calls at what, from twelve to three? Every twelve AM. Twelve AM to three AM? Yeah, I did that you're for a teacher. One. Yeah, but I wanted to do that <laughs> to see if they really wanted it. Right. Nah, but that's good though. That's I mean, that's how you got that. Ain't no clock. We realize a lot of a lot of a lot of connects we done made been like that. Yeah, sure. yeah. And that's where our studio has done a lot because we have a relationship with a lot of these um strip club DJs. Yeah, yeah. Who will have people in, you know, at you know, they'll text us at three AM. Hey, we got such and such in town and somebody's trying to do a feature with him. We open. Come on. Wow. We like that. And we've made relationships with other people that didn't want to make that relationship. You know what so I'm saying? So talk did about you, relationships. So how did you build your relationship with Yo Gotti? With Yo Gotti. That we was don't, June James. Yeah, we actually don't have a relationship with Yo Gotti. Mm. June we, James. That was June James, which is another producer out here. Mm. He has a relationship with, with And that's Yo how you Gatti. end up working on his last yeah. album. Yeah. Clap beat. Now we, we got relationships yeah. with other people in Memphis, not your guys. Yeah. Like oh, all sure. the PRE guys, mm -hmm. those are our guys. They come to the studio all the time. Wow. They come to so that, that's who Jay you got. Fizzle, they, when, yeah. Every time they come to Houston, they call it us. GB, where y'all at? Mm -hmm. Pull it up. We on the way. They want to rock yeah, out, do some music. Out, show. That's hard. Man. Show. We, make, we make work with Dog too. Like Dog, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was indirectly. We worked with him with Paul Wall, oh, wow. and we worked with him with, uh, was it Slim? Who was it? Dolph, the Dolph record was Paul, with Paul, and I think we had another one was with Slim, Slim or somebody. Yeah, that's but, hard. But we worked with his artists directly: Big Moochie, yeah. Grave, Big uh, uh, Fizzle, Jay Fizzle. Who else? A lot of times, that's how the relationships happen too. We'll link with the guys that are right up under the guy, mm -hmm. and then you talking a two year relationship. Like I say, we haven't done any work, but in two years, you're the guy. Yeah, that's you hard. know what I'm saying. And yeah. now you're the guy making the moves, and we've been locked in. Wow. We have, been rocking. have you ever been in a studio where somebody wanted to come in and record and they started recording, but the song that they were rapping to or how they were rapping, because, you know, I, I look at all music now, like I listen to it. I'm like, OK, no, that's Rico stuff that you talking about. Like, <laughs> has anybody Ooh. like you've heard people Ooh. the way how they talk Wee. and rapping? You're like, no, Ooh. Incriminate yeah. Yeah, yeah, you that, might that, need that, to that, 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 do you say anything to them? Do you nah. be like, nah, you might need to take that we out. We might give pointers on little stuff, but, but you can't control Yeah, they're going to say what they want to say at the end of the day. I think recently we, we might had tell an them artist. it's not a good idea, but you're going to do it anyway. We recently have an artist that was fighting a case. Shit. And, um, 
a gang related case and he had like a red flag in his video hanging in the back on the microphone and we was like you know what I'm saying to the guy like hey um take the red take the red flag down, you, like, you know right it. now you, you you already fighting a gang case mm-hmm. um you no trying disrespect to, to any gangs but, or any, you know, we, we, but we 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 coach a lot we we a lot of times tell bro that ain't that ain't it, it don't do that that, right. that ain't the one now whether you listen you listen you don't you don't but we do Call them, man, y'all, OG, did this. I mean, you did tell me, man. We hear that all the time. You Let, did tell me that. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. What's up? I always got an elephant in the room. <laughs> Is that and it'd it be wrong? something I done made up. Um, propane. propane. That's the guy who pretty much, you know, yeah. linked us with y'all. Yeah. Propane. Uh, the elephant guy, in the room brother. is what if y'all, what, what kind of work? Are you, I know y'all done work together, but how is it working with propane? Propane is working. He's, he's different. Good. He's he's different. He's definitely different than most artists, um, and I'm gonna say this is why. And we know him. We his brother, so we know how he work. And most producers don't. Okay. So with pro pro's process is different. A lot of people go in the booth, they own whatever they own, and they just tell the the guy to go. They rap four bars. Eh, what else? Eh. Pro, you give him the beat and let him go. To never never land or wherever it is that he goes, and you don't rush him. Mm-hmm. But when he gives you back the product, it's always a good product. He's always out rapping to everybody. He's always, you know, what I'm saying, doing that. Um, so that's our brother. So we know how he works. So we don't rush, pro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We don't rush. Uh, be pro. done. I, I want to hear from you because uh, G ain't gonna just say that. You might have another perception. Are y'all doing <laughs> everything <laughs> the same? You might have a little different. Man. Sauce it up a little bit for me, Don. Man, pro trash. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. <laughs> working with pro, uh, I'm gonna put it like this: working with pro. I, I actually like working with pro more than I like working with a lot of people, and I ain't trying to offend nobody. But why I say that because pro is the only artist we have here that puts songs together. He don't just get a beat and throw a verse and hook and it's done. Yeah. Pro's gonna do that, and he gonna say, "Hey, I want to bring in a guy to come replay these guitars. Mm-hmm. I want to bring in a dude to play a saxophone." Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what we should do? I'm gonna have such and such narrate this song. He's gonna talk over the mm-hmm. song at uh, Samuel L. Jackson type shit. Or he allows Pro us to do songs it. together. Wow. He allows us to do that. Yeah, and too, that though. is fun. That's yeah. fun. It's a it's a breath of fresh air when you're working with Pro because it's something different. Like everybody else, you playing with beat, they rap to it, bounce down, is over. Pro is gonna dissect the whole thing. Wow. You wanna put some raindrops somewhere? Yeah, hey, put some thunder right there. Mm-hmm. Hey, make it. He gonna make the song come alive. Wow. And I like that about Pro. Wow. I, when, when the last time y'all walked out the studio and said, you know what, I can't do this right now with you. Me and you been together since high school, nigga, you tripping, I gotta Never. go. Yeah, we won't be having no problem. Never. No. We won't be having no problem. You know what it is? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what it is. I think you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make this. I know y'all had disagreements. Wait, before. no, no, we, we, we don't agree on everything. But but not like not nah, as a personality not, trait, nothing. we're not emotional guys. We're not emotional creatures. A lot of rappers are emotional. A lot of artists are emotional. You know, they're sensitive about that shit. We not really sensitive niggas like that. Like, yeah. if I disagree with something he doing, you gonna I don't gotta up. fight him about it. Nah, it's like, all right. that's what you think. All right. Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, about what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how we. I feel like a lot of relationships could work because of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm that. not. We don't fire off at each other. Like, I'm in no relationship in my life. Do I say something to somebody that I got to call back and say, all right, look, man. I was tripping yesterday. I oh. didn't mean to say that. I'm not gonna say it. Okay, what have your sister ever pulled you up and be like, don't do it, you work with this or you oh, done yeah. that, I didn't like what you done that? Yeah. She, she gonna she gonna do that, but we don't do that. Yeah, cause she emotional. Yeah. I had to go yeah. to somebody that yeah. I know gonna be emotional. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She not gonna yeah, she we do that for sure. Yeah. We're, not, we're not everybody say, Y'all the most nonchalant producers I ever saw. Like even when we play beach, you know, people be in your face. Yeah. We be sitting in the back of the room, one nigga might be talking, whatever, and it's like, y'all don't y'all don't sell us the beat. No. Nigga, because if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't, don't you don't. Know. It's a mean in them motherfuckers. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> which, which, which beat you guys gave out? And y'all was like, did, we never didn't gave that. No, not gave. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the dad no The Don ain't trying to hear. Be done. Like, hell no. Nah, we ain't give a nigga nothing. <laughs> but I'm just saying one that y'all, y'all, somebody picked that they got from you guys that y'all didn't know it was going to blow like it did. Probably no sinner. It messed y'all head up. first one. It messed first y'all head up. Summertime. Summertime. I think summertime it messed y'all head up. It did. Okay, yeah. Rivin' No Ceiling was our first radio song. That was our first label check. That was with J-Dog. Yeah. First label check. Was it no Rivin' No Ceiling was before or after the plaque? Um, Rivin' No Ceiling was before the plaque? Nah, the plaque came first. Okay, so that was our second label check. 
Yeah, but that wasn't. These weren't radio songs. Yeah, Toya's album. Yeah, we just did the intro, the outro to the album. You wouldn't have heard it here, right? Album. Right. Yeah, Rival No Ceiling here played every time we got in the car. Wow. Every 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 time, and we that was a beat we was gonna sell to somebody for three hundred dollars a year prior. Wow. And Ray Face called said, "Hey man, well, y'all got one of the songs on Rival No Ceiling. We gonna uh, you know they play it there to the left when you got the single. They always play it to the left." And then we was like, "All right, cool." And then when we find out what it was, and we heard it, and then they. Put it out every day. That song played. BET, I come on every day. BET on, you see the video playing. Yeah. That was like our first, like. No way. I can say that was one of our first biggest song that got us, like, looks outside of Houston. Yeah. Wow. Because they were still huge. They were still signed at that time to Geffen. Yeah. So that music was everywhere. Wow. People heard that and they, our phone started ringing. Oh, well, that's hard. Yeah, right phone started ringing. I we like ended up it. doing stuff with shit. Soldier Boy, Gucci Man, back on their mixtapes, them uh, Gangsta Grills back then. I ain't That's wrong. That's a mistake error. It's hella beats that we play for people that when it's time to play beats, it's like, damn, I'm going to skip over this one. I'm going to skip over this one. And they pick the ones you skip over. And that yeah. being one of their favorite songs. Now, that's happened a million times. Mm -hmm. But as far as like Robin on Ceiling Blue, there's, we didn't think nothing of that song. We didn't Man. think nothing of the beat. You know, beat jam, but it's like we make beats Man, all the time. I, I don't know how you, about yeah. you. I feel like that about Summertime. Yeah. It wasn't known like when we did summertime with zero and Snoop Dogg. Yeah, it wasn't known that, that it wasn't said that this gonna be our single. Same we were just working on a, a project, and nah. it, we had them. We had them three days a week at the time we was working on that. That was just another song in the pile. Man, that's that's favorite too. The night, don't get me wrong. The night, the night. Okay, it was a different beat, and they were like, "We need something brighter that can play on the radio." So when we played that beat, and I remember. Zero going in the booth and doing the um swinging through the dun, 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 dun. and it, it was I think I was recording I was sitting at the what's night you know late night you know you tired and he did that out what's the Folgers commercial when you wake yeah, up yeah, right you there? seen it you heard something okay but Zero's good for taking that that old taking something from somewhere else and singing it on top of it and going oh shit that's the Nate dog okay mm -hmm. nigga. Uh, now did I think we was gonna hear it to the point where we were tired it was song. every day? Yeah, I remember I was walking in the club one time and, and, I was, and, I ain't gonna and B was doing it. B was doing you this to the DJ. Yeah, he was doing that to the DJ. I never he was tired. He was tired of hearing it. He was tired of hearing it. I didn't I'm gonna be real. When we first made this song, it wasn't one of my favorite ones. Yeah. It was uh, So that means that whatever your favorite might not be the hit. The second one was Loving You. <laughs> I, Loving You is the song I wanted to run with first. Yeah. That's the one I thought. I knew that was going to do something. I was like, yeah, this the one. And that other one stuck his head up and said, yeah. I'm here. Summertime. 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 Summertime.
probably better that night than I've ever heard. It was like, this is some crazy shit. For what sure. does, uh, <laughs> what do you think about Mr. Lee? I had him on the show here recently. Just Love, what does he mean? Man. What does he mean to you everything, guys? Everything. Everything. Like Mr. Lee was. He don't understand. He was our mentor. Yeah, he, he don't, don't know. He was the one that, that was motivating us all these years. Wow. I think like, Ray used to do that to us too, though. Like, like, I mean, well, Lee, uh, Lee did it. You know what I'm saying? He'll do that to us. You know what I'm saying? But. Lee is somebody we watched, you know what I'm saying, and just hey, and had love for. He pushed us to be yeah. who we are today. Yeah. He don't even realize it. And that wasn't him physically or saying anything to us, just by being around him and man, and knowing mm -hmm. he was the hit man. We slim little bros, so wherever yeah. slim at, we at. So if we go to Lee house, if slim go to Lee house, we with him. So we was around for all of those Mr. Lee classics and everything. And like that motivated us more than what anybody could have done at that time. Yeah, I, Mr. Lee, man, like I said, when I started this podcast, man, I linked up with him through a couple of sources, and me and him grown a relationship to where he going to hit me up and check on the show and everything else, man, and always trying to help, you know, get to some of the other, whether it be mm -hmm. a younger person or a lawyer or something just seen on the show, man. And I, that's the part where, like, when I came in this game, I love music. Yeah. I just love the music. So you do more than music, though, right? No, but I just love the music. Uh -huh. I didn't never do music. I just love the music. Right. You know, I'm a fan, you nigga. Know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I see y'all and I know y'all produce, nigga, yeah, I'm going to yeah. talk to y'all real. They're going to be like, what? Y'all, right. man. Right. Right. I'm that guy. But then at the same, <laughs> right? But at the same time, meeting a lot of these people, you know, is it's opened up a door for me to where I've been able to link a lot of people together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rock with different people that I never would have rocked with, whether it be on the West Coast, down in New Orleans or whatever. So, man, it's a big deal for me for y'all to even be on this show, man. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? Like, that. like Propane, when he hit me up, I'm like, who? He like, yeah, you got to do them. You don't even know. That's like, how I'm bro, bro. It's like, That's damn, for real. Pro damn, I looked at I was like, damn, these boys heavy. It's more than Pro that would probably say that about us, though. Wow. Not to even talk he like pro, that. Pro is the one that's yeah. like, man, y'all too, man, y'all got too yeah. much going on. I hear from Pro. This shit, man. He right. be mad at us. All right, so how I was saying earlier, we don't do interviews, we don't really do podcasts. I don't say we don't do them, it's just, it's pulling teeth. When you don't have PRs yeah. and managers and nobody's reaching out yeah. to us. I like that. Y'all like me. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you make your own decisions. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, all yeah. you we say. We just go, we go, it's work. And then, and then even when we look at our, in our, our catalog, a lot of times people say, man, how do you feel about this? It's like, bro, it's just work. That was another day of work. Us. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. we do this every day. It's it's stuff that's gonna come out next year that we probably thought nothing of. It was just that was last night. You at the thinking studio. it's not interesting to tell your story? That's what you think. I think yeah. oh, you and, it, and, and it's hard you too. Know, but the story it. hard. You though. know how many people have told me that they were like, "Bro, people want to hear that shit." That's and right. Me, you know, people just say, "How was your day at work?" I don't talk about that shit. It was <laughs> some niggas and some backwoods road. We made some music. You know what I'm saying? But, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? but again, my thing is definitely the fact that and these are classic nights. That's and, right. And we don't realize they're classic nights. To some three of years the stuff y'all ain't telling me right now that not happen in that oh, studio. A lot, a lot of stuff. You can some stuff you can't we talk about. We, some stuff you can. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, some stuff you be like, damn. That was a hell of a night. But to you, you just like you 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 really ain't tapped into it like that because to you it was a hell of a night, but you like to somebody else it might be nothing. You know what I'm saying? We but talked about this popping. the other day, like how we don't do interviews and stuff and we never really got our story out there because nobody has brought it out of us. Anytime we do interviews, they don't ask the right questions. Well, yeah. So we don't, we, we, that's why I was like, I don't like doing interviews. They don't really ask the right stuff. Yeah. I think. If somebody I, has to ask you to do it, to ask you but to I get think, it out. I think the, the thing is, you gotta understand, they gotta know your world too a lot yeah. of time. But also, the way we do it is more open format. Yeah, so just it, just, it just pops yeah, out. Yeah, 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 it just pops, pops out. out. I think I was as dope, but right, that, yeah. because nah, of that. I like this. I like we, we, we just this talking. is way better than a lot of the interviews we have done because they ask the question, it's like, Nah, they too serious. That wouldn't. Yeah. Even, I don't give a damn. It's the truth. Nah, we had. What did I, I, mean, I like? I love the culture. This is for the culture yeah. for me. Now, what you were about to say? I cut the hell. No, I was saying. No, no, you good. I was saying that we um we love what we do, and like I say, it's going to work every day. So I, that's like asking a, a lawyer, "How was it at work today? How was it in court today?" And he's like, "Man." Pour me a drink, bro. Like, <laughs> let's go play pool. Like, you don't want to talk. Now I don't say you want to talk about it, but it's work. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. it's not work where it's like, I hate going to work. You know, you love going to work, but everybody don't got a job. But like you say, we'll have a classic night on Tuesday. And here comes Thursday. There's another one. Yeah. And Friday, there's yeah. another one because they still in you town. probably have one tonight. Yeah, right. And we uh -huh. don't really know. We don't really. It's just work to us. And then later on, talking about it on a podcast, you go. 
Man, we had a time last. <laughs> time, that, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, like it, it, it be like that. So a lot of time, and nothing's really planned. You know, a lot of people, you know, nothing's really planned, especially sessions. You know, a lot of times the best sessions are the one where, hey, uh, let's give a little Jeremy or something. We just think it's little Jeremy tonight. Wow. But such and such is in town. Such and such is in town. Such and such, and they all like little Jeremy, so they're calling him. Well, we're coming to wherever you are. Yeah. I'm at GNB, and they come here, oh, and now man. we got this nigga in the studio, that nigga in the studio, this nigga. They try to come that up with something to do a track. Yeah, and it's like, damn, nigga, what's the name here? What's the name here? I'm gonna feel like my starstruck moment was Boosie, though. What it was? Why? It was Tell because me why. it was it was it was the moment that the first time we were playing a beat, and it wasn't even our beat. I think I was recording them, sitting at the what's the name. He was off like, before you say yeah. that. The reason why he say that is because Boosie and Webby were off. Favorite, favorite rappers, period. Before, yeah, man, man, no, I can't we say. We from Houston, Boosie and Webber was our favorite. Yeah, yeah. but. Rest but, Pimp, I love you, bro, but goddamn, Boosie and Webber was well, goddamn. Well, Pimp shit. was the reason that happened, but at the end For of sure. the day, Pimp's my favorite. Pimp was my favorite. No, mine too, the nigga. Yeah. So, mine too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I, but I get it. I understand why. Because Webby and them went hard. They was time, raw, bro. uncut. Boots and they was like us. savage life. And when we would do early okay. interviews and they would say, who do y'all want to work with? This is before before we ever worked with them. They, who would y'all want to Most people say Jay-Z. We, Jay -Z. we Z. answered the same We we'll always say Boots, Boots and Webby. Let's go. Boots and Webby. All, all, we would always say that. Wow. But it's because we're from here. We were so close to there. That was the, oh, that's the kind of music we like. Uh, uh. It was when the first time I was recording Boosie, he was, he was right here to the right of me. And your beat was playing and he was rapping. What he do? He rap everything and then he gives somebody his phone and he literally raps to them. And they write it that you be on your shit. You know oh, what I'm saying? Whatever. Shit. He, do do that. he gonna yeah. do that. He gonna be like, uh, uh. He'll he'll rap turn around, start rapping. Somebody's supposed to be writing it Go down on your notes. Phone. You gotta start rapping what he's doing. That's what he do. That's how he Damn. record his verse. And I remember him rapping and he hit he hit me on my shoulder and was like, You like that shit? What you think? And it was like, You're the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? No, no, no. you can't nigga, say that. I, I say, nigga, that shit go off. Nigga, go on the booth, nigga. I put my gangster shit on. Inside, you're the fucking greatest pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you love, you, you have, Man, like, you have I had times listening to Boosie. Right? Any, any ex-girlfriend I had in high school, a little bit after high school, knew, like, bitch, we just been Boosie. Boosie. I mean, excuse me, you know, excuse me, black lady, black girl, we playing with Boosie and Webby. That we, we riding around vibing, we jamming Boosie and Webby. That, yeah. that was my thing. They had songs to me. Well, you went to Cheap Rod to do that deck come pop on, out. Come, come on, on, come on. Come on, man, I was jamming all that. <laughs> so that was, our, that was our favorite rapper. So when that Boosie thing came, it was kind of like, damn. We really working with an idol of ours, ours, and it's our. I said it by him too. Yeah, he's yeah. from Baton Rouge. What? Not bad. No, 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 no I'm sorry. Bill Platt. You, Bill Platt. Bill Platt. I didn't yeah. mean to say that. But I feel like Platt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's all. So he yeah. already had the culture on him of you know being yeah. out that way. So well, and I just loved it regardless. Man, let me tell you something. Man, thank you guys for coming on the show. I'm winding man, thank it down. You for having us. Thank like, you how for can people us. get a hold of y'all if they trying to link and purchase some? And then y'all make them YouTube beats too. Them mm -hmm. YouTube beats. See, that was a question that we'll I had. We'll send niggas to YouTube when they so want to play though. You can type in G and B or G Luck and Beat on somebody that's <laughs> no, made like a G and B like, type beat. These yeah. youngsters uh, throw, throw they, their beats they do that. on the on the YouTube. Oh, we yeah, don't yeah, ever yeah, done ever. Just tell you what they do. I can know what they do. We just tell people to go to the YouTube. I'll be like, man, nah, I'm like, but you know, you know, people. I mean, I don't got beats that can't rap. You know, you can go to YouTube and get any fucking beats you want. But you can't. You can't. It's still you got to double back if it blow. Half time they don't know them niggas. But most people that put their beats on YouTube were trying to get discovered. We weren't trying to get discovered. Yeah, I agree with people. Shit. If we wanted to get beats to somebody, hey Slim, hey Boots, hey Big Sis, you can send this off to us. Or yeah. we, we, we already had people that we can right. get up. We didn't have to put them on YouTube to get discovered. By so somebody, that's you know because you guys are from a different era. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we looked at the internet stuff like, hey, ain't throwing yeah. my beats. That's man. right. <laughs> you check it, man. I got to quit. I got to quit. Um, he was able to say it earlier, propane trash. Can I say it, propane yeah, trash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all did say oh, it. I didn't say that, bro. I, didn't, I was gonna let it come out. I was gonna come out. I was gonna let it come out and let it be can surprised. We say, can we talk about that? <laughs> I trash you. Thank y'all so much, man. Yes, Love sir. you guys, man. Love, I appreciate y'all. Keep God first. Yes, sir. Sure. And man, always uh, family and God. Yes, sir. Always, you know what I'm saying. If you're in Dallas, you know, come see me. Yeah. If I'm if I'm in H Town, I'm, I ain't gonna lie and put y'all back behind these mics because okay. y'all story need to be heard. We got, oh, we got some more. Yeah, we got. Boy, boy, yeah, that's that's on this week. That's yeah, we in Dallas yeah, doing too. You ain't asking about that though. Yeah, we be well, in Dallas. I, we know, like, I'm I'm like this. My sister got married now. and lived in Dallas for a second. I know so that. In I, Dallas I, I know that because of uh, uh, Mike. You might not know Mike. Money Mike. 
Mike, I know Mike. Why I know that name? You talking Mike, Mike with um, Puka Leroy, Puka Leroy, Leroy brother? I think, I, okay. think I know what Mike is. He, he, he was in the wedding. I know exactly okay, what Mike is. Yeah, I know exactly what Mike is. Shout out to Mike. I know exactly what Mike is. Shout out to Mike. Yeah, I rock with him, man. For sure. So at the end of the day, bro, just make sure you guys. Don't forget about Boss Talk 101 because we're going to come back. We got numbers, numbers now. We locked in. I'm definitely going to make sure. Houston, I'm going to lock y'all in. I'm going to make sure, I, like I did at Pro Brand. I'm going to our studio. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to come over there. Yeah, come come over there. We're going to say fuck your way, too. We're going to say fuck your way. I heard about it. That's why yeah. y'all here because yeah. I was like, yeah. man, if I get them, it's up. Yeah. You might get some other interviews while you're there, too. That's all I got. We're going to be on the West Coast doing about another. Yeah, we travel and do this, too. weeks. Okay. Yeah, we've been on the West California, we did California, yeah, we did LA, we did Chicago. Yeah, I said, put up the cameras, did, talk to um, people. Y'all need to go to Memphis, Memphis too. Huh? Memphis, Memphis yeah, on fire. Yeah, we want to do that. Dave, we we haven't been, been to Memphis, Memphis. Not for that, but I've been down yeah. there a lot of times. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Memphis on fire. Right? Check it, man. Hey, man, appreciate you Ball guys, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, appreciate you guys, man. 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 Appreciate you